Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Danielle. This is not going to be pregnancy related at all. I ordered a package from e.l.f. I need to do my makeup. Long story short, my husband locked his keys in his car. Had to bring my car. I called AAA, got his keys out. We're switching cars. So that's where I'm at in life right now. So I have no makeup on because my makeup was here in the car. So I got this package from e.l.f. Um, I honestly don't even remember what I ordered. It's going to be a very small order. Um, there was a primer that, I don't know, was sold out, I guess. And a lot of people were talking about it. So I did order that. I don't know what's in this box. Um, but I don't remember what else I ordered. So we shall see once I get this box open. Sorry if the angle's a little bit off. I'm struggling here. <laughs> okay. I'm also not trying to break a nail either. Dang. This box has like a lot of layers to it. So when I had did the order, they said that they were going to throw in a free eyeshadow, but I was thinking it was just going to be an eyeshadow single, but no, it's like a whole eyeshadow palette. So this whole order, I think I spent $25 because that's where you qualify for free shipping. So this is the Need It Nude eyeshadow palette. I seriously thought it was just going to be like a single eyeshadow. Um, the next thing I ordered is the Poreless Putty Primer. This is the one that everybody's been talking about, and it was sold out. So I wanted to try it, and as soon as I got the notification, I ordered it. I got this e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. I've never used it or anything like that. It's just my skin has been really, really dry lately, so I kind of wanted something to... Um, moisturize it I guess keep it hydrated I will literally like moisturize put face oil on moisturize again and it'll it'll still be dry and it's just because of my pregnancy um I don't know how to even apply this I don't know if you just like put it on your face or I guess we shall see um I also have been having like really bad pores like in this area so yeah, I kind of want to put on my AC. It's hot in here. I got a dewy setting mist. I usually use the Morphe setting spray, which I really like. But again, my skin has been really dry lately. So I've been, I want to try anything that says it's hydrating. And then last but not least, I got a little like brow pencil. Um, yeah. So all this stuff for $25, like I think that's a still when I was in college, I used to literally be like on the struggle bus. Okay, I don't know if I should take this hat off. My hair is like <laughs> to my scalp, but um, but yeah, so when I was in college, I was literally like on the struggle bus, like really for real, for real, where like eating Taco Bell, like splitting a Taco Bell meal with somebody would be like a luxury for me because like spending seven dollars on a meal so I used to order elf back in the day when everything was like a dollar to three dollars so it's crazy to see like how much they're like coming up like not like coming up like I don't know obviously they've been around for a while but I'm just saying like their quality and stuff I don't know if this is gonna bother you guys Ooh, okay I'm gonna just use my rear view mirror sorry if I'm a little bit off um, I'm just gonna do my makeup quickly or as quickly as I can with trying these products so now that my hair is light I actually usually ble bleach my eyebrows eyebrows but I haven't done it lately so that's why they're a little bit dark right now um, yeah this pencil it's not like the Anastasia this one goes on like it glides on really easily like the Anastasia one is a little bit harder and people may like that a little bit more if they want a little bit more control because this one just like color is there um I don't know I'm just whatever so this last weekend we went to Vegas my mom bought my younger sister my 18 year old sister tickets to see Ariana Grande 
she wanted to take or buy them in LA but the LA show got really really pricey and like the tickets did not even drop in price like I use an app that they don't charge any like service fees and then they tell you like if it's a good deal or not like oh like they give every ticket a letter grade so you know what you're getting and even for like the D like the cheapest seats were like a D grade and like they were $270 like people were so crazy so um in Vegas the tickets were only like a hundred they started like at 80 bucks but we got tickets for like a hundred and three dollars um and so yeah we went to Vegas to go see her um Hector was on vacation he kind of wanted to go to Vegas already so it kind of worked out okay Ooh. this clear cooling balm helps hydrate and prep skin for makeup application Direction, apply on a face in a circular motion prior to makeup application. Blend if necessary. Okay, so I guess you're just supposed to like, it feels weird, like, it feels good actually. My dry spots are usually right here, right by my nose. I'm going to just try all this stuff together and we'll see how my makeup wears later on, but, um, it smells clean. It smells like aloe or something. But it definitely, you know, the texture, I don't know, because I'm pretty well moisturized right now. Like, even though I said, like, my skin is really dry, I did make sure to, like, really, really well moisturize before using it. Um, but it does, it does feel like when you first put, like, on a heavy cream. This, I think, would be good for people with dry skin, like myself. I'm really excited that they sent like a whole eyeshadow palette. Like that is crazy. When you see like, oh, free eyeshadow. Like I literally just thought it was going to be like one little pan. Not like the whole eyeshadow palette for $25. Like all this stuff. Oh, let me see if this one has directions. Directions for the um, poreless putty. Apply a thin, even amount to moisturize skin. Allow to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation. Um... So, yeah, while we were in Vegas, my sister was telling me, I don't know, because I was seeing that, like, Jane, holy shit, <laughs> it's like, um, the lighting kind of sucks, but I kind of went a little bit hard with my finger in there. I don't know, we'll see. So, I'm just going to put this right here, like, where I get my little pores at. Um, so she was telling me about the whole James Charles Tati scandal, and honestly, like, I don't follow either one of them. I've heard Tati's name before, but I've never subscribed to her. I've never watched a video of hers in my life. And I just know, like, my sister's super into James Charles, my other sisters. And so I'm not subscribed to him either. I've seen, I've seen a few of his videos. I think the makeup that he creates, like, the looks. He's very creative and all that stuff, right? Okay... Uh, the color on this is universal sheer. Um, so it says leave it for 30 seconds. So I'm going to leave that there. And then, yeah, so she was telling me all the drama, like, oh, um, I literally brought a cup of water for my beauty blender. Not my beauty blender, but my real technique sponge. So I'm going to empty it. Oh, it feels good out there. It's kind of hot in my car. Um... So she was saying like how everybody's like un unsubscribing to James and all this stuff and it's just like a lot, right? And so to me, like I said, I don't, I'm not in emotionally invested into either one of them because I don't watch either one of them. I started watching Tati's video um, with my sister because, you know, I was kind of interested to see like what the heck's going on and honestly... I don't care if you come for me or not. Oh, damn it. I need something that's holding up my phone right now. Okay, I'm going to do this. Um, like, you can come for me or whatever. But I just feel like you're... I don't know how old she is. She looks like she's like 40. She may be in her late 30s. But she looks like she's at least 40. And James Charles is 19 years old. And, like, what do you really expect from a 19-year-old? Because I'm going to tell you right now. My teenage siblings disappoint me all the time <laughs> um they just do things they act selfishly they don't think about their actions and it's just like people are really like at his throat so I'm gonna start from the very beginning with my opinions 
I found my tweezers. Didn't know they were in here. Um, as far as him, for instance, the part where he supported Sugar Bear Hair and did that little ad on his Instagram or whatever for either for the past or for security or whatever the case, whatever it was for. The fact that like she got so worked up about it, like, yeah, I understand he's not being a loyal friend or whatnot, but at the same time, like to be like that dramatic about it, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like you're, you could have handled that behind closed doors. If you were upset about it, like you could have went to him personally, like to upload a video or whatever on your Snapchat and kind of like, you know, I mean, you didn't exclusively call him out or whatnot, but still like, I just feel like you're much older than him. So you could have handled that a lot better. And so, yeah he whether he did it for money or he did it for security or whatever he did it for like he's a teenager like you really expect him to make grown man decisions or make mature decisions or put other people's feelings first like when I was 18 the world revolved around me when I was 19 the world revolved around me I didn't think about my decisions long term for instance, I got married behind my parents' back. I didn't even tell them. Didn't even care how they would feel about me doing that. Because guess what? I acted upon how I wanted to act and what was going to benefit me in that situation at that moment. And that's just, you're selfish at that age or whatever. You know, and people can say like, oh, stop using his age. Like he should know better. Yeah, you should know better. But do you really know better when you're that age? Like... Let's be realistic. Okay, so that whole thing, stupid. And then he comes out with an apology video or maybe she came out with her video first and then he came out with an apology. I don't know, I don't fucking care. So I didn't watch the whole Tati video. I couldn't get through it because honestly to me, she just sounds like a fucking child, a baby, like crying like, oh, I helped him and I no, 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 again, handle it behind closed doors. Like why are you putting, like you want to throw him under the bus or whatever because you want to you're like you're so bitter that he didn't advertise your company and he advertised somebody else's company so you want to try to ruin him or whatever like you're like she let like all her feelings get all up in there and involved like okay so that's how I feel about the sugar bear hair or whatever like I think that whole thing was fucking stupid sorry if I'm cussing but I really think it is like the fact that he's losing all these subscribers because he's not loyal Okay, and then they want to focus on or say, or she wants to say like, oh, he has a thing for hitting on straight guys. So? There's people that have weirder fetishes than hitting on straight guys. Like, I don't really see that as a big deal or whatever. As long as like he's not forcing himself on a straight guy as far as like touching him, trying to fondle him or whatever. Like, there's a block button. You know how many unwarranted um compliments and things that like I've received in my lifetime from people that I'm not interested in people that are that they're in relationships are hitting on me or they know I'm in a relationship and they're hitting on me you there's a block button like if you don't like it fucking keep it pushing keep it moving like it's seriously like to me like the fact that like they're like oh he's being a predator he's hitting on straight people or he's telling straight people that they're gay like I'm sorry if you guys were hooking up you're not straight like I don't give a fuck what you say like you are curious you're you're you may not be fully gay you may swing both ways but like nobody nobody is gonna influence you to change your sexual preference I'm sorry he's 19 years old and he's acting like any other 19 year old guy at that age they're horny they want one thing like let's just call it for what it is it's so stupid like and then all like everybody that's unsubscribing and everything I just feel like there's a lot of young people and people cannot formulate opinions of their own so there's like they see one side and she sounds so educated and and like she cares so much but if she really cared whether she's mad or not like she knows that she has a fucking platform of millions and millions and millions of people she could have handled it behind closed doors she didn't want to she wanted to throw him under the bus and make him look like a fool all over whatever 
if you had a problem with who he hits on and all this other stuff, tell talk to him personally. Why does it come out just because he sponsors Sugar Bear hair or whatever? Like he makes a video for I mean Sugar Bear fucking sleeping pills. Like what I don't know. I just don't get it. I just feel like for instance, if you're a celebrity people are going to be in your dms right like let me just take any married celebrity out there or any celebrity that's in a relationship and they get hit on it's up to them if they want to respond to that message if they're responding to the message then that other person that's hitting on them is going to be like "Ooh, they like it so let me continue if this if these straight guys are not into it don't freaking respond even if you're not trying to be rude, like they can be like, oh, I was just trying to be nice or whatever. Like you can just say like, oh, thank you for the compliment, but I'm married and keep it pushing. Like it's seriously, I don't know. I'm just so overseeing all of this. Like, oh, he's this and he's that. Like get the fuck over it. Like there's bigger things in the world to be focusing on than uh, James Charles hitting on straight guys. Like I just, it makes no sense to me. I'm sorry, but like if a gay guy hit on my husband, my husband is straight and it would be up to him to either uh, go that way or not go that way. If my husband made out with the guy and then whether he was drunk or not, I always, this is what I've always grown up. Um, What is it? A drunk mind speaks a sober heart. Something along those lines. So it's like, just because you're drunk doesn't mean that like, that's not how you're feeling like you know what I mean like I mean that's not oh I was drunk so that excuses my behavior no bitch like that's how you were feeling that's just how it is the truth always comes out when you're drunk period so if James Charles made out with the guy who was drinking and then the next day he's like oh no I'm actually straight I'm sorry that is not going to inhibit your actions to that point you're not going to cross the line with the man if you don't if you were not feeling it like I don't know that's just my opinion you can let me know if you think otherwise but I'm sorry that's just like if somebody cheats while they're drunk and then they say oh while I was drunk does that make it okay oh because you were drunk I'm supposed to give you a fucking free pass hell no no it still happened so you did it I don't fucking care if you're drunk or not like you should know you should still be able to control yourself enough not to put yourself in that situation like to cheat you know like you're still you you still made that decision and I hate when people try to like justify their actions when they're drinking that's like my biggest pet peeve like well I was drunk I was drunk no bitch like you still wanted to do it you wanted to do it that's why you did it you're just using the alcohol as a fucking excuse the only thing that alcohol excuses to me is if you're so drunk and then you get raped or somebody takes advantage of you when you're drunk and you're saying no but from what it I haven't heard him I haven't heard anything that said he took advantage you want to call him a predator call him a predator if he's like I said doing things like and they're saying no like don't touch me don't do this and he's still continuing to do it um call him a predator if he's hitting on ch people that are under age you know but to call him a predator because he's hit like his thing is straight guys like uh make him a predator they're like so what he's into straight guys like that doesn't mean that the straight guy has to go for it and so yeah and then i guess like all of like these dms and stuff are coming out of like him hitting on these straight guys again who cares if you were not into it you didn't have to respond you know how many people like just in a normal case that like if you're not interested i've left people on fucking red or i decline their message if i'm not interested in them decline their message and i'm just a normal citizen i'm not even like anything so if if they're not interested at his advances block him delete him ignore the message like 
because from the conversations that I've seen, these people are having conversations back and forth with him. So they're engaging. So yeah, he's going to take it like, oh, he may be interested. And that's not like, that's not to say, oh, it's their fault exclusively. But like at the same time, like, you know that he's into you. If you don't want that kind of attention, then stop responding. Simple as that. So that's where I stand on the whole James Charles thing. I literally was even talking to it with my, talking about it with my mom. And she feels the same way. She's like, just because he like has a thing for straight guys or just because like you flirt or whatever, like that doesn't, if the person accepts it, then they accept it. But who the fuck cares? Like literally who cares? And all like these little teenagers, because even my 13 year old sister was telling my mom about everything um, about all the drama and like was showing her like Tati's video and even my mom was like that's just one side of the story even my mom like saw right through her you know and like we don't even she doesn't know either one of these people I've heard of him more than I've heard of her um and even like my mom saw right through it and my mom's like in her 50s like just what do you really expect whether you help somebody out of the goodness of your heart or not like what are you like what do you really expect from a freaking teenager like maybe you shouldn't have helped a teenager so much whether you saw like yourself in him or not or whatever like your standard should be a little bit lower when it comes to dealing with the teenager like not everybody you know matures the same way or at the same level or is gonna you know have your back the way that you have their back like, that's just not, especially dealing with a freaking, somebody who's half your age. Like, come on. Come on. And, like, everybody can be like, oh, he should be grateful. He should have loyalty. Yeah, he should, but he doesn't. So who the fuck cares? Like, to lose that many subscribers? Really? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like people who truly like him for him, like, they know. I just, I don't know. To me, I feel like... That's what he's known for being like a diva, being like sassy, being like, that's, that's who he is. Like, that's what he's known for. So you're really going to be like surprised or taken back that he's acting like his character. Like that's, I don't know. Does that make sense to you guys? Oh, I need a new setting powder. I've been using like this essence one and I used to really like it but again because my skin is so dry like I feel like it like just clings to my under eyes these days <sighs> um and if I offended anybody everybody's entitled to their own opinion right I lost some of my highlights I gave away a lot of my makeup and then like I'm like wait where's my highlights at I think I gave them away too to my sisters. I cleaned out all of my makeup drawers. So yeah, uh, that's my little rant on James Charles and my weekend. It was fun. We went to the, like I said, we went to the Ariana Grande concert. Um, I guess a quick pregnancy update, if you care. <laughs> I'm not feeling as sick anymore, which is really good. I just feel very low energy. Um, I'm ready to start working out. I think I'm going to get a gym membership again because there's no reason to not be moving at this point when I can be. You know, first trimester was super hard on me, but it has passed. And now I can move. I didn't even use that new eyeshadow palette that they sent me. Mother trucker. I always um, put like a brown eyeshadow on my under. Oh, throw this in the back. Let me see if it has a, a brown eyeshadow. So what else is new? <laughs> I don't really want to edit this video, so if there's awkward silences, I do apologize. So yesterday we went out to dinner and 
I never uploaded the story time, but I'm going to upload it eventually. But basically, I got into a physical fight a couple years ago um, with a relative's girlfriend. And we saw them yesterday at the restaurant that we were at. Well, I didn't see them until they were actually leaving. We were, I was facing the window seat and I saw them as they were walking like past, like outside the window. Um, but my sister-in-law said the the girl that I fought saw me because she had been staring at me the whole time. And I thought that was pretty funny. Not funny, but like, what are the chances, you know? I don't know if this actually makes me look more awake or not, but it's literally something I've been doing like forever. It's putting like a darker eyeshadow. I used to put like an eyeliner, but that's like way too harsh. And sometimes I'll put it like on my lashes too. Okay, I really want to try this new setting spray. I think I pretty much tried out everything. I mean, I didn't put on an eyeshadow, but I don't do eyeshadow daily. So let's see. I kind of want to see how this sprays. I'm going to spray it outside really quick. Oh, it kind of has like a little spitting, like it's not coming out like right, but we'll see. Whoa, that sprayed so ugly. I don't know if you guys can see, I have like little wet marks on my face because it sprayed so ugly. That's why I like the Morphe setting spray because it is such a fine mist. I'm gonna grab it really quick just to show you guys. Um, how fine it freaking sprays. Dang it. I think this is gonna happen. I have you guys on this bag. Mm. Stay. Sorry if the angle changed, but just look at how this sprays, okay? You see how like more fine that is? How more fine? Whatever. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.